from Venice. I am on my way to dinner right now. Leanne is staying in to rest because she's feeling very, very sick. She got the flu from me. Sorry, Leanne. And I'm just off to this quaint little restaurant that specializes in seafood called Osteria Aiserace. Sarachi. Anyway, I'll show you guys once I get there, but the lighting is just so beautiful in Venice right now. And it's great to be back, even despite the huge amount of stairs. Table for one. And the menu, you know, this is an Italian menu. If you want the curry code, it's for the menu in another language. Okay? I know what or if you need the help, you ask me. Yeah, thank you. Let's see. I think I'm gonna try the seafood appetizer and then I'm going to get linguini alla vongole. Good morning from Venice. It is Saturday and my hair is very flat because it's very humid in Venice. But I met up with Elisa. I messaged her yesterday on Instagram to see if she could help me with photos. And she said yes. And I was 30 minutes late to meet her because I do not know how to get around in Venice. I had no idea that you guys had to use the gondola and the water buses. Also, the water buses are so expensive. But I am here and I'm waiting for these lovely gentlemen to leave so that we could take a cute photo. This was our first location. It's so pretty with all the boats. Now we're gonna take the gondola to the other side. If you guys need someone to help you with your photos, definitely reach out to her. I'll have her handle here. Um, and she just showed me around Venice a little bit and we just like clicked. She was such a, a ray of sunshine and it was so lovely to meet her. Um, see? Now I'm just going to hang around a bit and walk around since I'm on the other side of the city and not on the side of the city where our Airbnb is and I did pay a hefty fee of 9 euro something to get here because the gondola wasn't working so I had to take the water bus and it was so pricey and I got lost but she was so patient and she waited for me even though I was 30 minutes late but I'm here in Venice Instagram versus reality. Crazy. I seem to have stumbled upon the fish market. I stopped by for lunch by myself at this quaint little restaurant. I am now on the other side, so the same side of the island where my Airbnb is. 
and I'm just gonna have a quick lunch before I drop off the bag. Sorry. Oh no. Prego. Grazie. Posso parlare in italiano? No. <laughs> I wish. I, I, I know a little bit, but not a lot. Okay. Grazie. I got a large water and spaghetti and a vongole. That's the right way to say it. As my new friend Elisa taught me. a cappuccino. Oh, this is so nifty. Should I get one to bring one? <laughs> it's like a cap instant cappuccino and it came with this inside. Do you see it? What's, what's it's like, that? It's like a little like like cocoa powder that you put on top of the cappuccino. Maybe I'll buy one for like each of our family members as I want a designer bag for a souvenir computer. Are you for real? Shut up. It's really hot. Mix, mix, mix. Oh yeah, it's like at the cafe. Mm, it's a cappuccino. You wanna say hi to the vlog? Say hi to the vlog. Wait, can they see you? Hello, ugly people. Hey! <laughs> the Last Supper. Just dropped off Leanne at the bus shuttle to Marco Polo Airport. She is really not feeling well, so she decided to book an earlier flight home. And I am now all by my lonesome, which honestly I am completely okay with. I don't know why. <laughs> I thought I would have more anxiety with this, but I'm actually really, really okay. It also won't be the first time I'm traveling alone. I've traveled alone before a couple years back and by a couple years back I mean like six years ago to Paris and London so I'm actually well versed in traveling alone which is probably why it's not so scary for me. It's kind of hard to feel scared with such a beautiful view like this. Everyone, I am just, it's actually noon, so good afternoon. I am just having a little tea, morning tea, just got ready for the day. I, like you guys know, I woke up early to help me in, so went back to sleep, slept in a little bit, relaxed a little bit, feeling refreshed, ready to take on the day. I am probably going to walk around have a little late lunch and then maybe do the walking tour i know i've been like saying i might do a walking tour i might not do a walking tour it's just i'm a pisces i'm very unexpected <laughs> Probably from waking up and then going back to bed and then waking up. Refocus. 
amazing. Oh, there you go. Okay, I'm ready to leave. I just finished the walking tour and I am going to one of the restaurants that my guide has recommended. It's 23 euro, but I'll eat as much as I can. Okay, I'm eating my steak. I just finished dinner walking home i'm so full i could throw up i ate way too much food today i had an appetizer a main and a dessert which is <laughs> too much food for me i'm gonna go home and pack shower get into bed and make sure i'm up and early tomorrow let's deal with this mess back at Chiesa the S Pantalon I don't know if I'm saying that correctly it's the church with the big ceiling mural I got here a little bit early just to see if it would open earlier but obviously not uh, this is my last morning here in Venice I'm gonna go back to Airbnb after this finish packing and go to Mama Fi, Mama Fi for a quick bite before the train station Cappuccino, a salami sandwich with arugula and lettuce, I think, and an apple turnover, I suppose, pastry. I'm getting attacked by a wasp, and the barista made me a new coffee. 